Hello everyone, welcome to Virtual Tweak. I am your host Khan and welcome to the show. On today's episode, I will show you how to encrypt your data so you can prevent unauthorized access to your private information. And I will also show you how to delete your or erase your private information completely so no one can recover, recover your data from your hard drive. I will play with a new software, it's called InstallPad. You can use InstallPad to automatically download application from the website and install it in your PC. And also a new Web 2.0 application, it is called Zoho Word Processor. It is an alternative processor, a word processor for Microsoft Word 2007. Uh, please visit virtualtweak.com, download other episode and uh, if you want you can subscribe to the XML feed, iTunes, Yahoo and uh, join our Frepram Rap. We have two new members in our Frepram Rap and we have all together 26 uh, members uh, under Virtual Tweak Frepram Group. And thanks everyone for your support, I really appreciate it. And uh, if you are waiting for the new show Bounce, hopefully it will be online uh, tomorrow uh, or maybe next week. I am so busy with my study so it will take some time. Thanks again for watching, let's start with our show and hopefully you will enjoy um, Virtual Tweak episode. Sometimes it is very important for us to pr uh, protect our private information. Uh, for example, if you leave your PC to a computer store and you don't know how many people are going to use your PC and find out your private information. But now we can use some of the free basic encryption tools uh, to protect our data. Today I will play with a couple of uh, free encryption tools. Uh, the first one I will play with is called TrueCrypt. TrueCrypt is an open source software and uh, I will show you how it works. As you can see, I'm using TrueCrypt. TrueCrypt is a freeware open source project. Um, there are two ways you can use TrueCrypt. The first one is by volume and the second one is by device. By volume means, the first one is by volume. Volume means you can create a virtual folder and you can uh, give it a name and you can give it a specific uh, size and uh, TrueCrypt will uh, format that folder and mount that folder as a virtual device in your windows explorer and uh, the second way to use truecrypt is by device and uh, device means you can select a particular partition on your hard drive or a, you can use a usb thumb drive or a usb hard drive truecrypt will format that hard drive and you will see your hard drive in the windows explorer in windows explorer but you can you only you can access this mm, particular device with a password no one can access this um, device without your password so let me show you how it works i'm gonna uh, use the first option which is volume uh, so i'm gonna create a new volume click on volume click on create a new volume in the first window it will ask for two op uh, option uh, the first one is create a standard volume or create a hidden volume so if you want to show your uh, volume to other users you can uh, select a uh, standard volume or if you want to um, hidden your uh, private volume uh, so you don't want to show your volume to other users select hidden volume i'm gonna create a standard volume so you guys can see it so i'm gonna click on next now we have to give a name to our volume or a folder so i'm gonna click on select file and uh, I will select my partition and I will write down private as my volume name or folder name and I will click on open and uh, but in this same window if you want to select a hard drive partition and if you want to go with the second way to use TrueCrypt which is by device you can see click on select device you can select your USB thumb drive you can select your hard drive partition and stuff like that but uh, we are uh, but now I'm uh, following the first option uh, is by volume uh, but if you want to go with the second option which is by device you can select your device over here uh, so I just uh, write down my uh, volume name which is a private volume is like a folder so I just write down a folder name which is private now I'm gonna click on next now it is asking me what kind of uh, encryption method i want to use in the in this drop down menu uh, you can use several kinds of encryption method i'm going to use blowfish blowfish is the well known one so i'm going to click on next 
now in this window we, we have to give a uh, space to our folder and um, I'm gonna give a say um, two gigabyte of space to our particular folder 2000 now I'm gonna click on next now it is very important we have to give our folder a password so only you can access that uh, particular folder so I'm gonna write down my password again I have to write down my password then click on next now uh, TrueCrypt will format our particular folder with 2 gigabyte of space so I'm gonna click on format as you can see it is formatting my folder and uh, it will be a secure folder for us or for me so I'm gonna wait until it finishes as you can see it is fast but the f it is now using the the blowfish method to encrypt that particular folder so um, I don't know the, um, the speed if you're using a 4200 RPM hard drive uh, it will take some time maybe I'm, u I'm using a 3200 ATA serial ATA hard drive uh, as you can see the speed right now of the formatting speed so it is now formatted my hard drive so I'm gonna click on OK and I'm gonna click on exit now I'm gonna minimize true crypt and let's see the folder we have just created my computer E and uh, as you can see this is the folder we ha I just created through true encrypt uh, this folder has 2 gigabyte of uh, storage in it but only I can access this particular file or folder or volume by my password uh, so this is the folder we I, I will sh use uh, to protect my private information now the only way we can access this particular file or volume by mount this volume as a virtual device in our Windows Explorer shell or Windows Explorer let me show you how can we do that in TrueCrypt so this is the folder we have just created using TrueCrypt it has a 2 gigabyte of space so now I'm gonna mount this folder as a virtual device under Windows Explorer so I'm gonna run TrueCrypt again so this is the true, TrueCrypt and uh, this is our folder that I want to mount as a virtual device so uh, in TrueCrypt in the first window uh, under volume select file and select the file uh, you have just created under TrueCrypt or I, I have just created this file it is private the, the file or the folder or volume whatever you call it and select the volume you have just created um, in the TrueCrypt uh, click on open now we have to mount this uh, volume as a virtual device once you select the particular volume and click on mount over here so once you click on mount it will ask for the password remember I just uh, write, wrote down the password for that particular volume so I'm gonna write down the password again now click on OK so once you click on OK uh, I'm gonna go to my uh, computer as you can see over here the Q drive uh, is my private volume I have just created using TrueCrypt so I'm gonna click on that so this is the private volume only you can access it and uh, no one can access this private uh, section over here without your without your password so this is the uh, secure folder I have just created over here and uh, I'm gonna right click on it and click on properties uh, as you can see uh, it has 1.94 gigabyte of uh, space so this is how it works once you uh, mount the your private volume uh, under Windows Explorer um, once you uh, transfer your files to that particular volume and you want to uh, unmount this folder as a device so no one can see it just select the folder select the file again or the select the device again and click on dismount so once you click on dismount your device will be gone as you can see over here there are no Q device over here or Q partition over here let me show you my computer C as you can see there are no Q device over here so only you can access that particular folder so this is how it works and um, uh, for 
sorry i could not explain you that much how how the true encrypt works it is very uh, sometimes it's very complicated to use but um, try it out it is true crypt and uh, one of my favorite one that i use uh, you can mount as much as volume you want you can mount your usb key drive you can mount your usb hard drive and protect your private information from others now um, i really liked it so this is true keep uh, freeware open source project try it out sometimes true crypt the previous application i just showed you is uh, difficult to use and if you don't know anything about virtual device and uh, it will be uh, sometime it will take some time to learn this stuff but uh, i'm using a software uh, right now it is called action action is a freeware application that you can use to prevent your data uh, the neat thing about the action is uh, action doesn't use any um, virtual device method uh, when you when you install action uh, it will add a menu to your right click option and uh, you can just select if uh, right click on a file and select action action encryption method and it will ask for your new password so once you select your password it will be encrypted and no one can access this uh, particular file without your password let me show you how it works so i am running action right now so what i am going to do i am going to uh, create a notepad file so i am going to write down hello and save the file to my desktop and example save so this is the file i just created uh, it can be a video file it can be a zip file uh, it can be an email uh, application or whatever you want to uh, password protected and so this is the file i have just created now i'm going to right click on this file as you can see this is a new uh, menu option it is called xscript xscript <coughs> select xscript in the right click menu option then click on encrypt so once you click on encrypt uh, it will ask for your password phrase so i'm gonna write down my password one second my password and click on ok so on, once you click on ok as you can see there is a small lock uh, key uh, over the file that means it is protected right now no one can access this file without your password so i'm gonna double click on it and it is asking for my uh, password or passphrase so i'm gonna write down my passphrase again click on ok so once you, once you click on ok it will open up so this is how easy it is to use so if you want to uh, protect a particular file such as the video file a mp3 file or your microsoft word document or powerpoint presentation uh, you can use this uh, action tool it is very easy to use just right click on a particular file select action x script uh, from your right click menu and click on x script uh, click on a encrypt or decrypt from from this menu over here uh, so it is very easy to use just remember your password because if you forget your password you are not gonna uh, recover this data from your hard drive so this is how the action work action is totally free try it out so now we can use two freeware softwares to protect our data from private uh, unauthorized access the first one is TrueCrypt and the second one is action but how about you don't want to don't want anyone to run your applications without your permission for example uh, i have all kinds of uh, software installed in my pc and i don't want anyone to use any particular application without my permission um, let me show you how it works so for example uh, I use this particular application it is called video Xbox 360 converter and I don't want to don't want anyone uh, running this application without my pass uh, without my permission or uh, anyone to use this application without my permission so we can use a software it is called crypto lock crypto lock can password protected a exe file so you can only access this exe file or run this exe file with your password no one can run this um, exe file without your password so let me show you how it works so i'm gonna password protected this application so i'm gonna close this application and this is the video uh, uh, xbox 360 converter exe file so i'm gonna password protected this exe file over here i'm gonna run crypto lock 
in the first field I'm gonna click on browse and I will select this particular uh, e uh, exe file that I want to lock so program files and video rights books 360 converter ex dot exe file so this is the exe file I want to password protect it so I'm gonna click on open in the destination file name I'm gonna cl uh, click on browse and in this new window give it a new exe file name so I'm gonna write down new save in the password write down a eight character long password and um, you can select two options the minimum encryption or the maximum encryption and I will select the minimum one minimum one works very well so I'm gonna click on protect so once you click on protect uh, it will create a new file over here as you can see over here it's a new file looks like a lock over here uh, with a new uh, exe file it is called new.exe file so this is the this is my new protected password protected exe file for this exe file so once you create the new password protected exe file delete the old one so i'm gonna copy and paste it to my desktop and i will delete the old one over here so once you delete the old one uh, anyone if any other users come to this folder and uh, wants to run uh, that particular application they have to double click on this exe file so once they double click the exe file it will ask for the password so write down your password and click on check so once you click on check the application will run so if you if anyone double click on this exe file and they don't know about the password guess what it doesn't it will not work so this is how you can prevent uh, uh, your application for being used by others and uh, this is the best way to prevent your kids using uh, chatting programs or playing games you can easily protect any kinds of uh, application with this crypto lock software it is freeware and uh, hopefully you will like it so now we learn how to protect our data from unauthorized access we can use freeware tools to uh, create an enc encryption device or encryption volume and uh, put our private information on that volume so no one can access our private data and uh, we also learn how to protect an exe file or application how to uh, how to password protect an exe file so no one can uh, run that particular application without our permission and this is the second part and this part I will talk about erasing our data securely so no one can recover our data with uh, <clears throat> from our hard drive and uh, there are a couple of few application that we can use to erase our data securely and uh, I'm gonna show off three applications that I used previously the first application I'm gonna show today is eraser eraser is a freeware and this is the most popular uh, application uh, freeware application out there right now to erase our data securely so once you install eraser it will add an option to to your right click menu so I'm gonna uh, create a text file to show off how it works and I will save this text file to my desktop uh, so this is the text file uh, let's uh, let's guess that i have inform important informations in my text file and i want to securely delete it and uh, i have eraser installed in my pc so i'm gonna right click on it and as you can see in the right click menu we have eraser erase option over here so um, if you want to delete or erase a particular important file uh, completely erase from your hard drive so no one can recover it anymore so right click on that particular important file select eraser from your menu and it will ask you uh, do you want to uh, erase this file completely and click on yes as you can see it is writing overwriting the data with uh, multiple uh, zeros uh, so once you click on close that data is gone nobody can recover it from your hard drive so this is how eraser work but the one neat option that i like about eraser it has scheduler option that means you can create a folder so i'm gonna create a folder and give it a name for example erase and every day 
if you want to delete something you just copy that particular file or folder to this uh, erase folder and you can select the scheduler option you can uh, create a new task and uh, for example i'm gonna select i'm going to c document settings game desktop erase i want to select this erase folder over here and i'm going to click on schedule so every day at 12 am it will uh, eraser will erase uh, all the data from this folder so if you want to delete something just uh, drag the file to this folder and every day eraser will delete uh, all the data from this folder securely so you don't have to worry about anything you uh, when you uh, go to bed just select the scheduler option uh, in that time eraser will erase all the data for you automatically so you don't have to use the recycle bin anymore so this is how eraser work eraser is a very nice program easy to use and uh, if you want to uh, erase your data uh, private information completely then eraser is one of the best option out there super shader is another analog x super shader is another freeware application that you can use to erase your data completely and uh, for me it will do the same work as eraser but uh, the one thing that i don't like about analog x super shader about this software uh, that is it doesn't have any right click menu options so if you want to delete any data or erase any data completely you have to uh, drag any particular file uh, private file or your the data you want to delete and drag it to this application then it will um, then this software will erase this data uh, for you and uh, you can also use this application to find a data for example you can click on select file and select the particular file you want to erase uh, this this is kind of pain because uh, if you want to just delete a, or erase the data you have to launch this application and click on select file and find the file and uh, click on delete it is quite a few steps uh, step you have to take to erase the data but for me i like eraser but if you want something uh, application wise then uh, another x super shader will do the same work without any right click option so check it out it is analog x super shader it is a free work my next step is uh, simple file shader which is a uh, another freeware application that you can use to erase your data now a simple file shader has a right click menu option so once you click uh, once you install uh, simple file shader it will add a menu option to your right click and i will show that how it works but uh, the simple file shader has two new functions that uh, other file sh um, uh, file eraser uh, application doesn't have the first one is you can password protect this particular <coughs> simple file shader application so if you enable password and write down the password over here so anyone wants to uh, use this particular um, uh, simple file shader application they have to write down the password so it is very um, nice option to have because sometimes uh, um, anyone who doesn't know about this software uh, can run this software and it is your uh, private data or important information without your knowledge so if you protect this application with password only you can use this um, uh, application uh, with your password and it is your part uh, uh, private data or input information uh, uh, securely so it has a password protected option so only you can use this particular software with your password and the second option it has it has a basic system shader information uh, shader uh, option that means it can it is uh, internet explorer cache cookies history firefox cache cookies history and your windows recent documents and recycle bin stuff like that it will it is it is all kinds of kinds of uh, uh, system information securely uh, from your hard drive so these are the two basic information that uh, have this software has over the other ones so <clears throat> let me show you the right click option so i'm gonna close this uh, simple shadow application and i want to delete this particular text file or it is this particular text file so I'm gonna right click on it and um, as I told you earlier it has a right click menu option as you can see over here over here it is a simple file shader uh, and I'm gonna click on secure delete so once you click on secure delete it will add the file in simple file shader menu file list over here so once you have selected your files you want to securely delete or completely it is click on shadow now so once you click on shadow now it will ask you what what kind of uh, 
uh, shading method you want to use i will use the first one click on ok click on ok again and it will write the file over, over many times so no one can uh, uh, recover the data from your hard drive uh, the one thing i don't like about the right click option so once you select the file you want to delete right click on it and uh, add to a uh, simple file sharer it will launch the application uh, not like other application uh, like eraser <coughs> so every time you want to erase something you have to launch this application so it is kind of pain but uh, it has two unique option um, that other fewer tools doesn't have so this is simple file shutter check it out and uh, make sure your data is safe erase it uh, before you sell your hard drive to another person uh, simple file shutter freeware version 3.2 let's imagine that you install a or you reinstall your windows xp and uh, you have to download all kinds of application that you use uh, from the website and uh, it takes some time to go to their website and download the particular application that you wanna install in your PC but uh, you can use a software it is called install pad right now I'm using you can use install pad to download application from a website and install it in your PC automatically so you don't have to go to their website um, and uh, download that exe file uh, for every application uh, you want to use so this is uh, how install pad uh, looks like these are the default application configured for install pad so once you select a particular software click on install it will download the particular software from a website and uh, install it in your pc so you can save some some time and uh, install pad comes with a exe file uh, which is over here uh, installed uh, install pad.exe and a xml file so install pad uh, works uh, with this xml file so if you want to add or remove any particular application you have to edit this xml file let me show you how to edit this xml file so this is the xml file for the install pad as you can see these are all the download links and also uh, software name uh, over here so once you add a software name and download links over here it will show up in, in install pad main um, interface so for example this is adobe reader how can we add a new application so let me show you i'm gonna go at top in here as you can see the first application menu it says name uh, which is adobe reader and the file url which is the download link for the adobe reader application um, this is the link particular link over here and you can also add a comment for a uh, for your adobe reader once again if you want to add a new application just uh, copy this stuff and replace the name with the application you want to download and install replace the file url uh, with the download link for that particular application and uh, this is this is how it done um, it is uh, kind of uh, easy to write down once you see this xml file you will figure uh, you will find it out how to write this uh, how to write uh, all kinds of option about this install pad and uh, make sure when you uh, write down uh, for a particular name you add this option field which is option uh, download latest version um, uh, and uh, bracket options uh, make sure you add this little three lines uh, with your particular application so this is how you can add a particular application to install pad so when you install uh, reinstall windows xp you can just uh, run install pad and click on install in, um, for this uh, for any kinds of application and it will download and install software for you automatically so you don't have to go to every website and uh, download exe file and install it you can save some time and uh, the big question come to my mind is it for us uh, for the <coughs> we are regular desktop users and i always look for update software for example um, you may add a adobe video download link that is two months old but you reformatted your hard drive or reinstalled windows xp after three months adobe reader will have a new version so if you use install pad install pad will download the older version not the newer one and this goes to all the software you added to install pad so for me this is not for us for a regular desktop user uh, but if you 
uh, run a business with 50 or 60 PCs and you're gonna download <clears throat> the same software with all these PCs you can use installpad to do that work that will save you some time but for a regular user uh, I don't I do not recommend it because um, it is uh, we always uh, want to download and install latest software so install pad is for businesses and uh, if you have a home network with uh, 15 pcs uh, then uh, you may try it out install pad it is very easy to use and uh, if you see the xml feed uh, you will understand how to write down this application name and file url install pad is totally free well. check it out it is install pad today's web review is zoho writer zoho Red is a word processor and you can find all kinds of word processor nowadays web 2.0 word processor online and today i will look at zoho writer so i'm gonna log in as a demo user now when you at first launch a zoho writer it will take some time to load up and uh, this is the main interface for uh, zoho writer on the right side you write down your document and all kinds of tools over here in the left side it will show your uh, saved documents your templates and your tr trash can over here so these are a lot of trash can over here trash files over here so how it uh, this is how it looks like you can even import documents from a from your hard drive from a particular uh, server and stuff like that so this is a neat option and uh, let's look at the uh, options for zoho writer at first the skin that means this is the skin how it looks like you can select a particular screen for example i'm gonna select c blue and save the document so this is how uh, the skin option works you, even you can select the time zone for your document and uh, you can allow other people to comment on your article or the writing you have uh, the the work you have published uh, if you don't want anyone to comment on your work you, you can just deselect this option over here so this is the option and uh, the nice thing about zoho writer is the export and uh, so before you export anything you have to save the file so i'm gonna save the file Uh, it will take some time to save the file once it saved the file you can export it as you can see in the export option is word document uh, pdf rich text format text file and html so you can export your writing in many formats which is a very nice option and uh, zoho writer is very clean easy to use it has decent uh, tools over here so you can use it uh, on the web if you don't have microsoft word or open office and uh, sometimes it is uh, takes some time to load up this uh, zoho writer application other than that i like it but uh, it is not that uh, it doesn't have all kinds of word processing tools over here like other web 2.0 um, online word processors so check it out it is zoho writer and uh, let me know which writer you use online so everyone we know how to protect our data how to erase our data and uh, we played with install pad and zoho writer so this is the end of our today's show please visit virtualtip.com download other show and i'm gonna publish my new show bounce uh, very soon and i don't know when but i will publish it and uh, that will be fun and please support the show please add yourself to the frapper map write a review that will uh, be very helpful for me and uh, make sure you protect your data and i will see you next time have fun